Hello everyone, this is going to be a guide on how to solve the puzzle on the Theoretica when you are doing the HK51 companion quest which starts in section X. If you haven't already started this quest, I've got a separate video that goes over how to start HK51, everything you need to know about it, and about searching for the pieces which is the step that comes after the Theoretica. The Theoretica is essentially a explorational puzzle in the dark. Makes it extra spooky. And as soon as you get down here, you'll notice that it's quite hard to see, especially if you're playing on higher settings. You can make it easier to see, first off, by using the flashlight. The flashlight is available in the quest, on the quest log. It should also be available in your mission items, and you can right-click it to turn on your flashlight and it'll give you a little bit of illumination ahead. Another thing that you can do to make things easier is in your preferences, you can go into your graphics and turn them down or at the very least just turn down your shadows. I personally really like to do it in the dark because it's a little spookier, it's a little scarier. So there's two different parts of this puzzle that you can solve. The first part is the actual steps that you take to go unlock HK51, and the second part is actually a puzzle. And so the very first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and pick up the badge from this corpse right here. It'll have a blinking yellow light. So here's where you start, down here in the entrance, and you can walk all the way around, doesn't matter which side, and you'll find the corpse at location number one, on the opposite uh, section of where you started. In this video, I'm also going to show you how to get all the bonus stuff, too. So, the first bonus thing that we can go pick up will be at location A. And that will be down here in this room, kind of near where we first started. So, unfortunately, mounts are disabled while you're working around on the Theoretica, so you do have to hoof it. But there's lots to see and explore while you're down here. Don't forget, if you don't want anything spoiled, you don't have to follow a guide for this. You can just figure it out yourself. So here's the first secret thing to find, the kind of bonus, and it's the first data log. And the data logs are findable by their blinking, glowing light. Sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're green. And you'll pick them up, and they will show you a little cutscene. That tells you about what happened on the Theoretica, so I'll let you watch that by yourself. So that was at location A. It's in this south east corner right here. The next data log is also quite nearby. In a kind of similar location, it'll be at location B on our map right here. And it'll be in the room opposite of this one. Here, let's use some, some fun stuff to get around. Perks of being on my mercenary. So the second one is hidden in this room right here that we just uncovered for the first time. And it's hidden kind of in the... between the bugs, behind a little box. So you'll walk in the door, it'll be on the left, and you're looking for a little blinking green light that you can right click. And you can watch that cutscene and learn a little more about the Theoretica. So now we can start actually moving forward with the main quest. So the second step is actually going to be way down in the south on a separate map. So we picked up the engineering's badge from the corpse, and that will allow us to enter the locked doors near where we first started. So these big doors here, the blast doors, you won't be able to enter them until you've got that engineering corpse badge. And it doesn't matter which one you go into first. There's two sides, they both go down to the engineering area, but there's one half here, and one half here, and they are not connected. So, no matter what side you go down, you'll go deeper into the spooky, spooky engineering. You'll notice that as you start going in here, your character starts getting sick. My character is making all kinds of noisy noises. And you'll uh, pick up an emergency battery. We'll, we'll use that to help power the rest of the ship. You can find this on either side, but if you're going after the bonus, Instead of leaving and going back to the main deck, deck four, we're going to go to the other room in here and we're going to find another one of those hidden data pads. And where might it be? It's here in a pile of garbage. And that's on the uh, left side.
And there's another one of our data logs where we can learn more about the Theoretica. We've got everything we need here. And there is a second blast door. So here's kind of where we came in. Here's the entrance down here in the south. And there's another blast door right beside the entrance. And you could also get a battery here as well. It's the same battery. You don't need to get both. But there is another hidden data log over here, which we'll go pick up. Because we're a bunch of completionists. And this one is hidden on a little pile of crates. You can't see it when you walk in. Just turn around the corner and you'll find a blinking yellow light. So there we go. We've got four out of the seven data logs. And we've also got a battery, which will help us explore the rest of the ship. If you're exploring on your own, you may have noticed there's a, there's a lot of locked doors, actually. So these smaller locked doors, we don't need to go into right now. But we will come back to this area. We will now be able to go into, uh, uh, into this big one once we are able to unlock it. So this is the one where you actually need to progress forward through. But it's going to give us an error when we try to go through it. Says it needs power and refuses to budge. It actually has two different issues. It's both locked and it doesn't have power to open. So now that we found a, ba a battery, we can put the battery in the socket. And you might just find this while you're exploring around. And you can right click it once you have your battery. <laughs> See, we actually like stuck the battery in there. And with the battery online, uh, we've now given some power to this area. And we also have given power to this terminal, which will unlock that door. Woohoo! So huzzah, we now have access to the next deck. And in our map, you'll notice we got our corpse here. We got our battery down here. We put the battery in up here. We unlocked the door in number four. And now we're going to head up to deck five here. So deck five is where things start getting interesting. And it's a little more than just click this, click that. It's a whole nother section to explore. You'll notice you'll go up this way, but there's not a lot here. There's a locked door over here. Um, so we actually want to go off to the right side instead. But before we get too far, we'll notice that there's a little blinking green light. And it's actually on a little baby droid. And that is just up the stairs from where we came up into this new deck. So it's about right here on the map. And you can right click that and you'll get your fifth data log. And you can learn some more about the Theoretica. So we're going to head over to the right here. So we're trying to get forward and we're going to notice that, oh, there's a crunch door right here and it won't let us progress. So we can't go that way. We do have our engineering code, so we can head on into this new room. This is this new room is where I, I got really stuck. I got scared of this water, and I thought I couldn't go in there. And I tried doing what I thought was a jumping puzzle over here. Technically, it is a jumping puzzle, but uh, you can just walk straight through the water. Don't be like me and try and solve the jumping puzzle before it's, <laughs> before it's too early. <laughs> and there's going to be a breaker switch here. And it's just a little button, and you're like, uh-oh, what did I do? I was just trying to unlock stuff, and I electrified the water. I'm sure you can take a, a quick guess about what happens if you go in there. So we're going to avoid the electrified water, and this actually fell down uh, in the chaos and the combustion. So we're going to run up the ramp. And we're going to try and jump across that electrified water in a very small little, little jumping puzzle that I just already fell off of. So we're just going to be following these pipes. It's it's not going to be a horribly hard one, but you may, uh, if you have a friend, they can always help you out with it too. And we're just kind of looking around like, where can we go? What path can we follow up top? It's kind of a convoluted route. There's not a super clear path forward. You just keep looking around until you can find something to jump on. There really is only one actual path that you can follow. Up and up and up and across, and you'll notice you hit uh, a dead end, but there is a glowing barrel over here. And you can right click that to explode it. And you can go forward, keep going across those pipes, 
don't fall down into the electrified water. And this is where I thought it was a jumping puzzle to start, but it's just an easy way to let you get down. So sweet, we are now past that electrified water and we can go on the other side of that door that uh, we couldn't pass through before because it was broken. So before we get too far, we will pick up something else from the corpse that is right outside this new room that we've uh, been able to get to that is now unlocked. So here's where we came in. We crossed the bridge, or we crossed the water. We electrified the water by turning on the breaker. Uh, we jumped all the way over and here's our, our new door that's appeared that is now open. And uh, directly outside of it, there's a corpse with a blinking red light. For a security officer's ID badge, and that's located here at F. So we came in here, we did all the stuff with the water in the center, and now we've picked up uh, the badge at F. At this point, we've gotten really close to finishing the puzzle. If we wanted to, we could just head all the way up to the north and we could go get HK-51, but we're a bunch of completionists. So we want to go finish up that bonus and figure out how to, how to unlock those additional rooms there. So the next step that we're going to take now that we have this uh, additional IT badge is we're going to go back all the way to the very first area that we we entered the Theoretica into. And we're going to go and get that door that was unlocked earlier. So this part's pretty fun and interesting. This part freaked me out and this is the part if you don't want any spoilers stop here <laughs> stop here and go open this door by yourself so now that i have the engineering badge i can i can open up this one here or the security id security clearance accepted oh hey look there's some blinking stuff in here there's a data log there's looks like something else on the floor here too but as soon as i get in the room i locked myself in and it says the air in this room will not last very long and you can actually die in here it's going to take you a very long time but you can asphyxiate without any air so if you're not able to do this in the complete dark don't forget you can always turn on your your flashlight Ta-da! and it's one of those find the hidden clickable object puzzles so in this case we're trying to unlock the door as the door is sabotaged or broken and the item that we can click is a box on the side of the door. And it is clickable. And it only turns blue when you roll your mouse over it. So you push it out of the way. And then there's a little fuse breaker. It'll tell you about the sabotage. There's a little... A little... A little another little thing you can click there. So you need to find a replacement fuse. So once again, it's find the hidden clickable object. Where is it? This is how I died by trying to look for it manually. And it's hidden in this pile of debris. It's not blue until you roll your mouse over it. So you can right click the fuse sized metal object. And then you can go uh, pop that thing in here, right back where we started. Oof, I got shocked, but the door is now open and I'm no longer asphyxiating to death um, and once you do that these two items will become clickable they're not clickable until you solve that little puzzle so here we go we've got another data log we can pick up that is our sixth data log and there's also something here you need to pick up on another corpse and that is the medical officer's badge so we're on the the first floor here and we can now go to the uh, go to the next map. Go back up to deck five here. There's there's another room over here, but there's there's not actually anything in it. I'll go in it real fast just to show you guys if you wanted to unlock the whole map or something like that. So here's the last room. Nada. Empty room, dead people, you know, the usual thing. We did the whole map now. And so we're going to head back up to deck five, and that's the deck uh, to the far north where you have that, that very scary water. But we now have a medical ID badge and we have medical clearance, so we can check out the final locked room that's over here. 
And a final locked room is in the southwest. So it'll be down here. And this is where the last of all the secrets are hiding. And uh, this is something you're going to want to do before you enter the final room of the Theoretica, until you, before you enter the research lab, if possible. I'm actually going to turn my little flashlight back off because I like it. Alright, so we've got our final data log. It's blinking green on the table. And you'll learn the final fate of the Theoretica for the bonus mission. But there is a little more to find here, and there's no quest that will really uh, lead you there. So what you're going to find is on this table, when you roll over them, there are some clickable items. So the canisters, when you right-click them, they'll say that they are... they're empty. But there is some empty stim injectors you can pick up. So this one here is a hint that you can go find some nylite canisters that are not, that are not empty. And you'll find them over here in the back of the room on the floor. Very cool. So now we picked up a nylite injector and it'll show up in our actual quest log, in our mission items. It will not show up in our quest log, so we do have to find it in our mission items. It's kind of a relic of an old quest. They don't tend to do that anymore. If you want, you can also put it on your bar. Because it's a fun little bonus thing that you can use in the fight ahead. You do not need the Nylite Injector. It's just a, a fun little bonus thing that you can do for the final boss of the Theoretica. So now we're making our way backwards. We're kind of backtracking our way back up here. And we're going to head to the final room in here. And I'll show you one more special thing before we go. And we fight the final boss. So this is where we're going to exit. You don't have to worry about that. Lab access. We're just going to head on in here. And there's a couple different things to click in here. The only thing I recommend clicking first is this little blue panel. Uh, because once you activate the final fight, you won't be able to come back and click this later. It'll become inaccessible. So you'll be able to see a little little cutscene about a scary guy in a tank. And you're like, hmm, what should I do about that? You notice that uh, there isn't any power in this room. So first we want to turn on the breaker, turn on the power. Unfortunately, this releases the big, big critter. And here's the fun part. Once you have the Nylite Injector, you can use it on the boss. And it will actually, uh, you'll see it turns him green. Kind of makes him a little sick. Can I use it more than once? Looking like a no. But I think most players just, just fight him. The old-fashioned way. No real reason to use an Allied Injector unless you just like doing a little bit of everything when you're playing your Star Wars Yield Republic. Alright, and once you finish your final boss, you'll be able to head up to the top here. You'll be able to grab your mission schematics, which is what we all came here for. And then we can blow this popsicle stand, and the exit is just where we first started. I hope you like this in-depth, uh, complete walkthrough of how to do the Theoretica and how to get all the bonus data logs. And I hope you enjoy doing the HK51 quest. Um, the next part is really long, but I really, really love the atmosphere of the Theoretica. If you want more Star Wars The Old Republic videos, subscribe to this channel. And if you want to show your support for these in-depth Star Wars The Old Republic guides, videos, and reviews, visit satarisa.com support. See you later.